Now, AWD138 smoke and heat combined detector is installed on AWD115 isolator base, and both are working normally. Connect the simulated short circuit wires to the isolator base for short circuit protection test. Check the detector number on the fire alarm panel. We can see that it is number 89 smoke and heat combined detector. Turn on the test mode of the detector and it will flash quickly. In general column, we can see that the number 89 detector testing information. Now number 89 detector flashes quickly and the isolator base slowly flashes yellow. Now do the short circuit test. Use the short circuit wires to test. After short circuiting, the indicator on the isolator base turns yellow. Indicating that the detector is under isolation protection and the detector stops working. In fault column of the panel homepage, There is the fault information of the detector. While other devices on the same loop are still working normally. Now check the status of the devices. We can see that the working status of other devices is normal. Only number 89 detector is in fault state. Now the isolator base is under isolation protection and the detector is not working. Disconnect the short circuit wires. The detector is back to working state. And the isolator base no longer lights up yellow. When the detector is no longer short circuit, The fault information of the detector will no longer be shown on the panel. Check the status of the devices again. We can see that the status of the detector is back to normal. This is AWD-115 isolation base. These are the wires that are connected to the 24V ports of the fire alarm panel. These two wires are the wires that simulate short circuit. Install AWCSD311 conventional smoke detector on the isolator base. We can see that the smoke detector is working normally. Now do the short circuit test. The detector on the isolator base is yellow, indicating that it is under isolation protection. This is a 24V DC powered device, flashing green light, meaning that it is still in normal working state. Therefore, if the 24V smoke detector is short circuit, 
it will not affect the 24V power supply on the loop.